Howdy, folks. Well, before we jump in here, I'm going to warn you ahead of time that this uh, includes some pretty shaky video. Um, it's kind of an ad lib deal, but I wanted to share the information so I could help somebody more than producing a great video. So uh, here we go. So recently, a friend of mine had a, uh, an Acer laptop that was stuck on the splash screen, uh, just like the image you see here. And uh, so I had to go through a few steps to figure out what was wrong with it. And uh, if you want to follow along, maybe this can help you to uh, solve a similar problem with yours. All right, well, I have a laptop right here. And uh, it is running currently running a live disk, which is a CD-ROM operating system. It's Ubuntu Mate, but it wouldn't get past the uh, the splash screen originally and so I suspected that I might have had a hardware problem so anyway I took off the uh, cover in the back and uh, reseated the RAM that didn't fix it um, reseated the Wi-Fi card right here that didn't fix it so I turned it off and I uh, actually removed the hard drive and uh, when I removed the hard drive, the computer actually started. So it was then that I suspected a, a hard drive failure. So uh, what I had to do was I went ahead and put this live disk in and then restarted the computer to see if it could actually had the capability of running an operating system. And uh, as you can see, it does. And it's reporting uh, that it has an i3 processor, 3.7 gigs of available RAM. So I'm assuming you've got 4 gigs and all that fun stuff. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I have another laptop, it's a Junker. And it has a working hard drive, or at least it did work last time I plugged it in and tried to get it to go. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off. I say I had this other junk laptop here. It's got a bad screen, but uh, I disassembled it so that I could borrow the hard drive out of it. And so there's the hard drive from that. Yeah, let's we'll see if we get away with this. I don't know. Hmm. No. It's going to be a hard case. So. I'm going to have to take it out of the frame here, so hold on a second. Let me pause. Alright, it is connected. Now, whether it'll stay in there or not is another matter. I believe it will. Open and we turn it on. Okay, that's what we had before. Now it gets past that. And it wants to start Windows on this, which it's going to uh, freak out because this is not the computer that this operating system last started on. But as you can see here, the computer itself is capable of reading a hard drive. So I am at this time completely comfortable with saying we've got a young man who needs a hard drive and then his computer can work. <laughs> well, we're in the middle of installing Windows 10 on this uh, on this laptop after I put a used hard drive in it to replace this broken one here. But listen to this thing. I don't know if this is going to last through the install, much less last very long after we get it in there. Alright, so I had this other HP laying around here. It had a 500 gig hard drive in it. It also has a broken screen. And, uh, so, I got the hard drive out of this one. Since uh, the other one was a little too squeaky for my taste. And you can hear this one here, it sounds pretty sweet. Maybe you can hear it. 
Anyway. So assuming we don't hear any more squeakity squeakities, we'll figure this one will work. And we'll, uh, we'll let it go with this one. So the second hard drive worked out just fine and uh, I got returned the laptop to its owner and they seem pretty happy with the results. So I hope this helps someone else and they will take care. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I uh, apologize for the old shaky video, but just wanted to share the information. Take it easy. Bye.